I came to COP with one of my main objectives is to fight for the preservation of 1.5. That was my objective. But I've expanded on my ambition because now I recognize we have to preserve something else. We have to preserve the platform of the youth. These young people have sent a strong signal that they require to be involved in the decision making. Now, it is important to recognize something. The young people have given a, dem a declaration today that is even more ambitious than the G20 for what they have showed so far. The young people, and I repeat it, the ambition of the young people today exceed what has been presented by the G20. And that is a serious indictment. It therefore means that the young people should take note of what the Prime Minister of uh, Italy said this morning. He said that there needs to be pressure. And in addition to that, he said maybe we ought to be whipped into action. I think the young people have that ability. You may not have the money, but you have the power to bring about the change that is required. My colleague from Kenya hinted at it. And I want to be very specific in terms of what I think should be the outcome of this dialogue. There has to be a place for these young people who are the future. How can you plan the future without including the future? You cannot plan the future without including the future. And here we are. And I think it was you, Mr. Sharma, who said it should not be a one-off situation. It means that the young people need a permanent platform. And I want to suggest that out of COP26, there be declared some mechanism that continue to keep the young people involved after the COP would have come to an end. And every seat of the COP, there should be a, a secretariat where young people can serve and transition into the next COP. And they should be the ones to give us our performance reports. They should be the ones to watch what's happening and say to the world, we are not proceeding as we declared. This is the time for it. After all, this requires institutionalization. We must institutionalize the involvement of young people. And finally, let me say to Sasha, who is a citizen of Antigua and Barbuda and a young person who has journeyed here, we have had to survive all these storms, these hurricanes, through solidarity and borrowing and getting into debt. It is time for that to stop. It is time for that to stop and we'll be fighting for loss and damage at this COP. Those who pollute must pay.